Hello! Welcome to a long-awaited episode of Cooking with Heather. I'm sorry if I sound tired. I was uh, woken up at 2 a.m. by people in the hallway fighting. But anyway, today we're going to make a cake. We're going to make a very special, interesting cake. First, we preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And then, well, we can worry about the pan later. We just need a bowl. Let's rub it out. All right, cream together the sugar and butter. All right, what do we need? I have the recipe. It's a basic recipe on my phone, but you'll, you'll see in a very, very short order why it's suddenly so fun. All right. So, sugar and butter. We need a cup of white sugar. All right, where is that buggery sugar? And you know what sucks? I lost. I lost the special little cup that my mom gave me, so I'm going to have to just play it by ear and use another measuring cup that I happen to have laying around. It's not nearly enough. It's probably enough. Again, I'm going to get scolded by mom for improvising later, but you know how it is when you move. You lose everything, because I'm moving in a month, and you lose everything, and it's frustrating. But, all right, butter, 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 butter. Now, half a cup butter. We're going to use a spoon for this, because it's really better than... I know you're supposed to have wet and dry measuring cups. I know this. But you know what? We make do with what we have. And this old-fashioned way of doing it really sucks. But it is what it is, right? And as we continue to knead this, we have to wash it. We have to wash it and make sure it's all clean. And I promise you, this will be a very unique recipe in the end. Oh. Gotta dry it out. And of course, that's fun to splash water all over yourself on a cold day. Because it's snowy and cold outside. That's why I thought of doing this. Okay. Uh. Alright. The eggs. We need two of those, and those are in the fridge. Just because I couldn't be bothered to bring them out. And you know what? It's always good to use a cup to beat them into a cup in case, just on the off chance that you get shells. Although shells are probably good for you, we don't want to use them here. So we'll just Hopefully I won't get my phone dirty. It's got the recipe on it and it's expensive. Alright. So, because we were working with egg, raw egg, we'll wash our hands. I'll check. You see that this is taping. Because 
because it's important. Um, all right, we're gonna put the egg into the bowl. I've got many little spoons and I'm very happy about these spoons. It says one at a time, but you can obviously do it however you want. I mean, it'll, it'll work out the same way anyway. And guess what? I don't have a hand mixer put together. So... Alright, so the flour and the baking powder now. One and three quarters. I mean, you know what I like when I move to my new place? Some honest to God cooking supplies. Instead of having to use cheap measuring cups and stuff. But I like my spoons, so I can keep using those. So it's just. I'll stir that all in. So flour, one and one half. So it's probably this full thing. What flour bags have to be so darn messy? It's annoying. Like seriously, you can't have like a zipper lid on the top of it. Oh, my phone got hit by flour. Oh, just a sec. This is fairly a fairly brand new phone, so I don't want it. And you know, I mean, hand mixing is just as good, but you've got to have strong arms and good shoulders, which I do. All right. So the milk, one half cup milk, and you know what, we don't have, we don't have um, normal milk simply because I am allergic to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some goat's milk simply because it's the milk I have and I'm not allergic to it. What happens when I have normal milk is I get short of breath, and that's the same with normal cheese a lot of the time. Oh, I hate being so tall sometimes, I can't see what I'm doing. But it's not good to be this tall. Alright, we'll add that. Okay, we're going to stir that all together, and then the fun part happens. The very fun part will happen, like right now. We're going to add Reese Puffs cereal bits to the cake. Isn't that great? 
I've always wanted to do this, but Reef Puffs are expensive, so I've never been able to afford it. That's probably enough. The rest can be used for eating. Look at this mixture. It looks very cool, doesn't it? But we're not done. We are most definitely not done. Now, now we're gonna add some pop tart. Just, just one. And you know what? You don't even need to chop them. You can just break them off piece by piece and throw them in there. It's like Oreo cake almost, but it's not. But these are cookies and cream pop tarts that I got from Walmart for like a buck. So. Only gonna add one and eat the other one later. And the piece de resistance is we're gonna put in some Mars bar. Well, it's not exactly Mars bar, it's a meteor bar, but it's got the same kind of. And what we need to do is definitely chop this one up. Get a Dutch knife. These are these are knives that my papa gave me, and I love him for it. We might just use two bars, just because they're so small. This is a bun cake, and in terms of slicing these, you have to make sure they're thin so they'll fit. It's not as smooth as I would like. So we'll add a tin bit of milk. It's goat's milk, remember. So this may look different with regular milk than goat's milk. But you know, you have to, when you're cooking, you have to be able to work with allergies. see a close-up? I'm sure we do. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that just looks amazing, doesn't it? All right. Now we need the butter again. Where to go? And now that I actually have paper towel, I can show you how to grease a pan. You take some butter, not too much, Mm 
you just, I mean, it's a non-stick pan, but you never know. There, that is clean as a whistle. Before we do anything else, we need to clear off this counter space and put what we've used away. So we're going to do that. Oh, and we're going to add the vanilla extract, which I almost forgot about, but two teaspoons. But forgive me, I mean, it's been a long time since I've done this. I've had a lot on my mind lately, so forgive me. Don't need those anymore. <sighs> I guess we didn't need that. All right. Well, that's taken care of, obviously. All right. I hope this turns out well. For the sake of things, maybe we better add the other pop tart so I'm not tempted to eat it as it is. There we go. Now, now I'm going to put it in the pan. And so we don't miss any, we have to scrape the sides of the bowl. Make sure it's evenly distributed in the pan. There we go. All right, so how many minutes does it say? Okay, so 30 minutes. Try the dough. Mm. Mm. Oh, 
All right, so I'm gonna clean up a bit. There's not much cleaning up to do. Because it was fairly neat with everything. So. Ah, gotta stop eating that before I get fat. Anyway, see you when the cake is done. It's perfect. My gosh, look at this. And since we don't need the oven anymore, we're going to turn it off. I was worried for a minute. But holy cow, holy moly cow. Ooh! Isn't this amazing? It's fluffy. It's perfect. Isn't that amazing? Since we use that, we'll just slip it in there. Oh my gosh. Now, you've seen the cake. We're going to put... We're going to put... Some on a plate. we're going to get a picture of it so people can get a picture of it. I know we can't have it. We're going to take a nice picture of it with our phone because we can do that. Technology allows us to do that now. And now that we've shared it, which will just get all the fans excited. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Isn't that amazing? Honestly, it's amazing. I have never made junk food cake before and it turned out great. Like I found a basic recipe, yes, but the additions were entirely my idea. Look at how yummy that is. I can taste it. I'm gonna get a fork. Absolutely good. Anyway.
anyway this is cooking with Heather saying goodbye after showing you how to make a very successful junk food cake enjoy